Hey everybody, Neil Malik with Knack Training here, bringing you another everyday office video. And in today's video, what I'd like to demonstrate is how in the new versions of Excel, uh, Excel 2016, Office 365's version of Excel, you can use something called the data model to connect two different sets of information together in a single pivot table. Let me show you what I mean. Over here on the left, you can see that this is our expenses for this company. And right here, there's a column that says the expenses are related to one of these offices. Now, these abbreviations mean Tokyo, Japan, New York, New York, Mumbai, India, Munich, Germany, etc. And it stands to reason if we have a number of these offices in various international locations, then we might want to be able to group them together into regions, meaning over here on the right, that New York is in North America, London is in Europe, Shanghai is in Asia, etc. Now we could use something like VLOOKUP in order to go over to this little table on the right, figure out what the office is, and then what region that office is in. But because we have Office 2016 with an Office 365 subscription, we can also use tables to connect these two things together. So the first step of this process is to take the data on the left and turn it into a table, then take the data on the right and turn it into a table. You click on the data set right here, you can use the keyboard shortcut Control T to convert this into a table and click OK. And now this table, I'm going to go up here to the table name box in the top left hand corner and I'll call this something like TBL Expenses and hit enter. And I'll go over to the table on the right, the one I want to connect, that I, the one that I want to establish a relationship with. Now this is just a little list of information, but I can turn it into a table by using Control T on my keyboard, clicking OK, and then here going into my table name box and calling this TBL Offices. So now I have TBL Expenses and TBL Offices, and they should be related to one another. So I click on TBL Expenses and go to make a pivot table out of this. Go to my Insert tab at the top of the screen, choose Pivot Table. And right here, the only thing I'm going to do that's different from what you would normally do with a standard pivot table is click the checkbox to include this data in the data model. That's the key to this whole thing. If you don't have that available checkbox, then you don't have the right version of Excel to make this trick work. Click OK and we've got the beginnings of our pivot table. I'll go ahead and set this up so that there are no grid lines and zoom in a little bit so it's easier to see. And I definitely want to know the grand total of all the expenses, so I'll click on the checkbox for subtotal there. Click where it says sum of subtotal down here in the bottom right, go to value field settings, and let's go ahead and make this total expenses and let's use the number formatting of something like an accounting format and click OK and then click OK and you can see that currently we only know that these offices have total expenses coming to 8.1 million dollars. Now I could show this on a department by department basis, team by team basis, office by office basis. In fact, let's go ahead and click the checkbox there for office. But as you can see, this is all the independent offices and I'm not able to gather them together by region yet. But up here at the top, it says that currently we're on the active table when we're looking at all the possible fields, but we could look at all the tables. So I click here on all and it says, well, currently there is a table called TBL Expenses and there's another table called TBL Offices. You guys remember from when I made that a few minutes ago. I can go expand TBL Offices and I can say, yeah, I actually want to see this on a region by region basis. So I'll take region and I'll drag it down here into the rows box and place it on top of office. And it, you can tell right here that it's broken because it's saying that in Asia, we have Atlanta, Georgia, and Chicago, Illinois, and Los Angeles, California. Those are definitely not in Asia. And you can see why it's broken. Over here on the right, it says that the two tables don't have a relationship yet. 
So in this yellow box, I click on the Create button in order to establish a relationship. Using the drop-down menu here, I can say, well, in the table called TBL Offices, there is a column called Office. And if you go over to the table called TBL Expenses, in that, there is also a column called Office. And you can see there that what I'm doing is I'm saying the TBL Offices column called Office is the same thing as the TBL Expenses column called Office. They're both the same abbreviations. And when I click OK, just like that, you can see there are three individual offices under Asia, three under Europe, several under North America, and a single one in South America. So being able to take these tables, add them to the Excel data model, and then creating a relationship between them gives us the ability to combine these two data sets into a single pivot table.